meeting women who are bravely and boldly shattering stigmas that we all face, um, but sometimes in private, they're coming public with it. We're continuing our very candid conversation with Olympian Lolo Jones. And Lolo, we talked about, you know, being a 40-year-old virgin and how that went viral, the fear of freezing eggs. If you get to the point, like I said, in two years, that what you want, what, what you want does not happen in this TikTok way of this and this, would you be willing to go solo? and have a, be a single mom? That's such a hard question. And so many other women face that, they yeah. go through this process because, you know, it's like, oh, would I just get a sperm donor and just, you know, start this process of having my actual kid? And I, I'm glad I don't have to make that decision right, today, that, yeah. but I know I shared this with some of my teammates and one of my male Olympic teammates actually stepped up because I was like, I don't know, it'd be hard for me to have a sperm donor or something I don't know. Yeah, yeah. He's like, well, if you ever need my sperm, I will be the teammate <laughs> for you. I'll donate for you. I was like, all right, thank you. <laughs> That's nice of you. Going back to the stigma and the judgment women face um, being a certain age and single, actor Chris Evans, who's 41, he went on Twitter. We love Chris. He's been on the show. He announced he was laser focused on finding a partner to settle down with. Um, some of the responses to his announcement said, I hope he finds that special someone soon. He deserves to be happy. Um, I'm in the same boat. You'll find her, Chris, just like I found mine. Never settle. You didn't get that. And this is not about Chris. It's about the I saw that age. article and I was enraged. Nothing against Chris. He's yeah, very good looking. Chris. But I was just like, where was this for me two weeks earlier when I said I really want to find my person? Instead of like the support, like, yay, Chris, good for you. It was like, you're washed up, you old hag, you deserve to be alone. And I was like, wow, like the difference a male will get for saying he wants to start a family versus a female that are the same age yeah. in their 40s. It was dramatic. And if he's been on your show, girl, didn't you just tell me earlier, ask the people that you know. <laughs> So tell Chris hi. So you want to shoot your shot at Chris Evans? I, look in the camera. Ask the people you there know. There you go. Look in the camera. <laughs> you heard it first. Chris Evans, you have 24 hours to reply. <laughs> Lolo Jones, I like that. So, you know, you have inspired so many people in the steps that you're taking to increase the odds of becoming a mom and staying true to who you are. I know that some members of uh, the TAM fam have wanted to send you a special message. People who knew you were going to be on. Take a look. Lolo, you're showing us that if it's God's plan for us to be mothers, there's nothing that can hinder that. Even women like myself who's have recurrent miscarriages and so much heartbreak, your journey brings myself and so many women so much comfort. You speak for so many women who suffer in silence. And you sharing your story makes us feel less alone. At the age of 36, I've also begun the process of freezing my eggs. And when I think about my age, it can be really scary. When I saw you share your story on social media, I saw a reflection of myself. Thank you. I'm rooting for you. I'm sending you a lot of love and light on this journey. Oh, my God. But that's what I needed to see. I needed to see that. Yeah. You said that's what you needed to see? Absolutely, because it was, you know, it was really hard seeing all the hate. So it's really nice to see, you know, other women sharing this journey. Oh. <laughs> Well, we are rooting for you. We're rooting for you to find the right one, even if it's not Chris Evans. I'm okay with that. Yeah. And I, yeah, absolutely. And I just want to make sure women know that now there's more options and they have more control of this journey than ever before with the science behind it. So don't be afraid to start. No. <laughs> I'm not crying. These are tears of joy because I know what's meant will happen and your faith is what leads you and I admire you so much for that. Thank you, Lolo, for joining us. Oh.